I'm distraught. I'm a total emotional wreck right now. The last time a series has made me feel this strongly invested has to be the Act 1 cliffhanger from Arcane. Also an insanely good show. But back to my emotional instability because wow. In my videos leading up to this finale, I've been theorizing just how this season was going to be able to cap off all the various plot lines that's been set up for one episode. Defeating Bellos, figuring out what's going on with the Collector, saving everyone from the draining spell, Lose maybe going home. It seemed like a lot to tackle, and surprisingly, it works pretty well. To be fair, this episode had to rush quite a bit to fit absolutely everything in, which is a good time to bring up the obligatory screw Disney for cutting this show off when clearly there is so much to tell. I'm pretty sure the current news is that there's only going to be one more season, but it will consist of three 40 minute specials instead of episodes, which is such a shame. This show is so good. I know it was only going to get better and better if they were given more time, but despite the studio putting outside pressure on them, this episode was insane. Every single second was filled with either plot, interesting character building, or just awe-inspiring visuals. I'll be going over the entire episode practically bit by bit for a change, instead of talking generally, because there's just too much to talk about, which means spoilers, heavy spoilers. If you haven't seen it yet, Go watch it, and come back because you definitely want to go in blind if you can. Obviously some heavy stuff happened, but let's start with lighter moments. I love that we finally get to see why Amity's dad calls her mittens, which is super cute. And overall I love how all the characters have developed over the series. It's hard to believe how compelling Willow and Gus have become since their first appearance. They were by no means bad, but they have continued to become more and more fleshed out. They have even grown up into newer versions of themselves. Willow has gained a lot of confidence in herself, and is a commanding figure in any room she's in. Gus, on the other hand, while confident, is more subtle and stays positive through hard times, in spite of the demons he deals with inside. The beginning starts off strong, showing us the situations of the various groups. Amity, Willow, and the rest of Luz's friends are on an airship, trying to reach her so she doesn't have to fight Bellos alone. Ida with her team are trying to sabotage the draining spell. And then there's Luz, facing off against Bellos. I'm not sure how I expected this episode to go, but I did think there would be a greater focus on some epic final battle with Bellos, but it didn't really go in that direction. The storytelling here makes me think they never intended for this to be the big showdown with Bellos, and that ultimately, he doesn't even seem like he is the real endgame boss. It's actually the Collector. I will say wow, he is so much more powerful than I thought he could be. I knew Bellos was afraid, but I didn't think this guy could literally use his finger to move the moon across the sky, or basically warp reality itself. He is a godlike figure, and he reminded me a lot of Bill Cipher from Gravity Falls. His presence, personality, and goals feels very similar to him, except he is a lot more childlike by comparison. Something I liked about how the conflict evolved was how Ida's plan didn't end up working. Bellos was one step ahead of pretty much everything. The one thing he couldn't count on was the Collector being freed. I'm not sure how I feel about how the conflict gets resolved though. I know the Collector has been shown and built up for a long time, but it feels kind of bad that essentially a background character solved the main conflict for the characters. Feels a bit like a MacGuffin, but it didn't ruin it or anything. To me the purpose of this ending was purely to set up the Collector as the real villain of the series. If any of you have seen Naruto, it's like how Madara brought about Kaguya, but instead it's Bellos bringing about the Collector. Though King did free him, the idea still stands. Speaking of King, they've been setting up death flags for so many episodes, I was scared it was gonna happen. He does sacrifice himself so everyone else can escape, which did break my heart though. I'm left with so many questions from the last quarter of this episode. What will the Collector do now that he's free? Why and how was King's dad able to imprison him? His dad must have had a good reason for it, since he also gave him the collar that prevented the Collector from finding him. Also, is the Collector responsible for the death of King's dad? But the biggest stinger of all was the ending. Luz and her friends, along with Bellos as a piece of sludge, are now in the human realm. Is it bad I'm so excited for the idea of a slice of life episode, where they all just hang out and bond together in the human realm? Because if they wanted to put the plot on hold for that, I'm so down. Strong, intimate moments between Amity and Luz, every single main character, has gotten sizable plot development. The plot itself is thickened even more. Season 1 was pretty great, but it doesn't even compare to this one, not by a long shot, at least to me. 
feel free to disagree in the comments. Whatever happens in Season 3, I'm excited. Belos is back in the human realm. How will he react? Is it possible he might get some form of a redemption arc? At some point, kind of like Negan from The Walking Dead. Will everyone be staying at Luz's house? I just want any excuse for all of them to be constantly together and just hanging out with each other, stakes or no stakes. What did you all think of the season finale? Better yet, what was your favorite part of the episode? Where do you think season 3 will go? Will they be able to properly conclude such a massive plot development with less time? Also, now that we have to wait for season 3, any shows you recommend? I have been thinking about Amphibia, since people have been saying it's pretty good, but if you have any other suggestions, leave them in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. I hope to see you next time.